This time we'll learn how to remote desktop into our Mac computer from our Linux machine. So all you gotta do is go to your Mac computer and you need to enable VNC. Real simple, just do command and space and this will open up um, you know, your spotlight and you just type in system preferences here. And you open system preference. Uh, go into where it says, what's that, internet and wireless. And then it says sharing here. So you click on the sharing and then you check on this box where it says screen sharing and that's basically how you enable VNC not that hard and then you click on this thing uh, where it says computer settings and right here check this box where it says VNC viewer may control screens with password and you just type in a password that you want to use for your VNC sessions uh, not your login to your you know user account or your administrator password this is just for your VNC, so you can make up a new password, it doesn't matter. Or you can use the same one, it doesn't really matter, that 22. But you hit OK, and it should pop up uh, for your admin password, and that will allow you to save the changes. So that's really all you got to do. If you want to add other users, or you want to allow all users, and you check this box, uh, or you add like you know individual users in here if you want, right? Uh, another user and all, all that not that hard so enable that the next thing you need to do is figure out your IP um, so you can actually VNC into this computer right so to do that bust out your spotlight again and uh, oops let me do it here just search for terminal and here's your terminal here you know the Mac actually uses bash so you can just type in if config here and depending on which connection you're using so right now I'm using Ethernet so that's why it says uh, you know EN0 here. If you're using Wi Fi, it might say like W something, whatever. But you're looking for the IP address. So this one is um, 192.168.1.104. So that's the one that we're going to use to VNC in this um, computer here. So we enable VNC and we have the IP address. That's really all you're going to need to do. Uh, now, when you're back into your Linux machine here, all you gotta do is install, um, what do we need to install here? Just install Tiger VNC. Should be in your repositories. It doesn't matter what distribution you're on. Uh, it's just called Tiger VNC. It might say Tiger VNC Viewer, not the server one, right? But install that sucker from your repository. And how do you use this thing here? After you install it, you have this um, program, this command line program called VNC Viewer. Right, and you just type in the IP address, which is real simple that we just got. So 192.68.1.104. And that's pretty much it. You hit enter, and guess what? It type in your password. This is the password that we created for a VNC on our Mac that uh, you know we did before. So I just type in that password that you have. And there you go, we're back into our Mac, and you can control this, you know, bust out your finder, do all this bullshit that you do on the Mac. Uh, so on and so forth. Um, so that's pretty much it on VNC into your Mac computer. Other things you might want to know is that the default port for this is um, for VNC basically it's a uh, 5900. So that's the default port and that's how you would enter ports manually if you want to do that. So just a colon and the port number. And this one see is still you can still connect it from that port. So if you change ports on your Mac or whatever, make sure you you know represent that when you're doing uh, your VNC uh, sessions. Uh, if you're doing this over the internet, make sure you uh, port forward that in your router, and then it'll you know allow you to connect. Let's say you're at your your school or your work, and you want to remote home to your Mac, uh, you can do that from Linux here. So that's pretty much it to VNC. Uh, into your Mac computer and do remote desktops, right? Um, so that's how we did it on was that Windows? We use R desktop with XRD. No, no, no. Yeah, RDP. And the Mac we use VNC with Tiger VNC. Pretty simple. You can connect to any um, you know operating system you want. That'll be it for this one.